in terms of trends in the uh, immersive technology sector, it seems that everyone's bought into immersive realities now. Everyone gets it, everyone understands the potential of it. I think the trend now is very much around how do you expand, how do you leverage that, how do you create content, how do you get people using the headsets, what's the reality of using the, the headsets in terms of you know, the motion sickness, you know, the quality of the sound, those, those kind of things. Some of the technologies coming through now are really starting to look at those. Companies are investing in it. There's a lot of prototypes out there, a lot of people really sort of figuring out how they can use this technology. But a lot of it now going forward is all about how do you scale that up? How do you get it to the point where a lot more people can use these technologies? So the new technology coming to market is presenting a great opportunity, but the devices are still immature to a certain degree. So we're still having to look on user experience and how people actually engage with technology. I think one of the interesting areas we're going to see is how people look to pay for these services going forward. So as we're seeing new uh, delivery mechanisms come to market, new experiences come to market, there are new value added content based subscriptions on the back of that. So as we start to look at opportunities in user experience, I think there's a great opportunity for the broadcast media to engage where we start to understand how people experience the content and how people experience broadcast content in particular. Look back to like 2015, 2016, the analysts were saying, and, and investors as well, this is a home entertainment space, there's loads of opportunity here. Yes, there is a lot of opportunity in the long term, but actually right now, there is this barrier to entry because people are saying, consumers are saying, well, well what's the point of a virtual reality? Why would I want a headset for my home? They need to experience it first. What's the use case? We still don't have these answers yet given for virtual reality as a society. It's very interesting that Gartner on their hype cycle have now removed VR because apparently it's gone past that stage of hype. We are nowhere near to the extent where VR is a mature technology. It's still really new, really weird. There's no place for it in our lives yet. We're really early days and when you zoom out, I think we'll look at things in many years to come and think this was super early and to be honest we didn't really know that much.